Let's connect the PowerBird light to the Raspberry Pi Pico. So we are going to be using the fully soldered version of the PowerBird light, uh, which have these headers, because then we can use it to place it on top of our breadboard like this. And we also need about five of these wires. And then again, we need a battery. We recommend using a battery with built-in overcharge and over -dis discharge protection just because the PowerBird light does not have it. It only has reverse current and short circuit protection built into the charging IC. And of course we need the Raspberry Pi Pico, a micro USB wire and a normal USB-C cable for the PowerBird light. So to start we are gonna just check that the PowerBird light works and to do this we just connect the battery now to check if it's charging, we want to connect our USB-C cable and there you go. Uh, both LEDs means it's charging and if only the, the blue shows up, it means it's done charging. So now it's charging. Uh, so now we know that the charging part works. We want to disconnect the battery. We want to connect it to work to read battery percentage and charge status. So to do this, we want to place our Raspberry Pi Pico like this. Then uh, connect as you see on the screen right now. Now we have connected and we just have to connect our battery. But before we do that, I wanna set up our Raspberry Pi Pico. So to do that, I'm gonna hold down the boot button while connecting it to the computer. And as we can see on the computer right now, the file system for the Raspberry Pi Pico comes up. If you already have set up your Raspberry Pi Pico, you don't have to do this. You don't have to press down the boot button while connecting the uh, cable. But in our case, I want to show the whole process and you want to go to the Raspberry Pi website, download the Raspberry Pi Pico UF2 file, which you can do here, open it and See, it's got here and now. Get your Raspberry Pi Pico file system and just drag it in. Now we should be able to open Funny and see that our Raspberry Pi Pico has connected and you can see it here. You can connect to it. Now you want to add the uh, PowerBoard light code to read battery percentage and charge status, which should be available on the um, PowerBird Light uh, website uh, and super easily go to software, choose uh, the PowerBird Light and here you can choose either Arduino or MicroPython. We are going to do MicroPython and from here just copy the code and put it into our uh, Raspberry Pi call it my main.py and now we can do this. Now we have our uh, main.py file and we can connect our battery super simply. Now the lights will light up. This is just because the pull-up resistors haven't been activated. They have to be activated through the main.py file right here and if we do so the light turns off. And now in uh, the Thunny program, it's reading battery percentage. Right now it's at 99%. And if I connect our USB-C cable, it's gonna say charging. When only the uh, blue LED is lit up, it will say done charging in the Thunny program. And this code, we are gonna be changing a bit probably. Uh, maybe we want to do a library uh, so that you don't have to have all these functions and uh, uh, pin uh, settings. But just remember to change these pins to the pins you chose on the Raspberry Pi Pico. 